Morty, give me a beat. Oh man, okay, all right, um. What's up my Barbies and Kins? It's your girl Kennedy all and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be showing y'all how I add bundles to a factory made wig making it fuller than what she's looking like now. So let's jump straight into it. Make sure that you like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you are new to my channel and after you subscribe, which you will because you just real like that, you're going to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a video so you're never late to the party. Now all that's out the way, let's get started. So we have this 28 inch natural brown, I'm guessing Brazilian wig. I'm not sure where this hair is from. It was purchased and gifted to my sister, but she didn't want it, so she ended up giving it to me. But the texture is body wave. It's just straight right now due to bleaching, plucking, and a little mini shampoo that I gave the hair. But yeah. This is my first time ever working over a factory wig because I never buy my wigs already made. I like constructing them myself, but here we are. For the most part, the wig is really nice, very soft and silky, and the knots bleach really well. However, it just was not full enough for your girl. So I went ahead and got a 28 inch bundle for my people over at Kiss Love Hair. Y'all know I love them. I received the hair really quickly and along with the hair, I also received a comb, a wig cap, which y'all know the wig caps come with anybody, but I got a wig cap. I got an edge brush. They also sent me some lashes, which I feel like they could step up on the lashes, but I got some lashes. They also sent me a little melting band with their brand name on it. So I'll definitely be using that when I'm melting my lace. And they also sent me an eyebrow razor because they know that we be using them now. So they sent me an eyebrow razor. And along with that, of course, got the hair. Head over there and get y'all something, whether it's bundles or a wig or a frontal or a closure, and make sure you use code Kendra for money off. Their hair is so soft, literally little to no shedding. And the bundles are always full. That's why I love Kiss Love Hair. But yeah, so make sure y'all check them out after y'all done watching this video, and be sure to use my code Kendra at checkout for money off. All right, so we're starting in the very back towards the nape of the wig. I really only wanted a little fuller in the back and a little on the sides. Not too much at the top because the wig is already nice and flat and we don't want the wig looking bumpy and lumpy. So I'm sectioning the hair so that we can see the tracks and begin sewing. I am doubling the wefts for the back so it's nice and full. I pin my wefts in place and sew them in. I knot the first and last knots four times and I knot the knots in between three times just for extra security to ensure that the bundle stay in place. But yeah, we're gonna do this until the back is done and when we get to the middle, I'll be back.
97 Eagles. I said the key. Seven Eagles.
97 either. All right, so we're up the wig a little bit higher now, so I'm going to discontinue doubling the webs to keep the wig flat and continue knotting the first and last knots four times and knotting the knots in between three times to ensure the bundles stay in place. we are now done with our wig and she is looking full just like i wanted crazy how one bundle can do so much this is the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up if you found this video helpful in any type of way make sure you leave a comment down below and subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel to become a barbie or a kin of mine i am a small youtuber so i truly appreciate it and after you subscribe hit that bell to be notified every time i drop a video i love y'all so so much and i'll see y'all in my next one bye